Hey friends, welcome back. Cloudbart here. In previous lessons, you might have heard me talking about the idea of creating conditional logic within our identity and access management policy. The basic principle being that we can apply an allow or a deny effect based on the actual context of the request itself. This is really powerful stuff. And in this lesson, I want to talk about one of my very favorite types of conditions, and that is using the date time evaluator to look at when the request is coming in. A great example of this might be, let's say you've got contractors that are coming to work for the company and you want their access to die six months from now or a year from now without any intervention from you yourself. What you could do then is set up a policy statement that actually includes a condition that looks at when the request is being made. And so when it comes in, we check the date and the time and we say, is it before this particular date or is it after a particular date? And so this means that later on, once that condition is finally past the appropriate time that we configured it for, it's going to finally deny access to them based on whatever time has finally transpired, whether that be a few months or a year later on. For more information, you can take a look online, AWS IAM policy condition, and we'll do date here for that one. Excellent. So allow access within specific dates. And AWS has already got some great policy uh, helpers built out here on the website. So this should get you up and running pretty quickly. Here you can see a really basic example. They're going to do an allow effect on whatever action you want to perform. You can define a resource. And the real thing that we're looking at today is the idea of using this condition. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So here we're making this action allowable only when the date is later than this particular date, and when the date is not beyond this other date. So this creates a window in which these particular actions would be allowed, and that is dynamic too. Once I set this up, AWS handles the evaluation of this logic for me in the background. Really powerful stuff here, friends. Love using conditions, um, so stick around. This was just an example of using the date time evaluator and also seeing the date greater than and date less than operator that we can use as well. Pretty sweet stuff. In future identity and access management lessons, we'll keep putting conditions to work as we drive attribute-based access control policies even farther. See you next time.